From amazing five-bedroom, two-story homes to beautiful two-bedrooms with office space, Celebrity Homes has the perfect home for you. Our homes come with amazing features, vaulted ceilings, sprinkler systems, quartz countertops, designer light packages, and more. Plus, Celebrity Homes is proud to offer our new exclusive closing package. Get a refrigerator, washer dryer, garage door opener, instant access to Wi-Fi, professionally installed blinds, and up to $3,000 towards closing costs. Yes, it's all included. Visit CelebrityHomesOmaha.com today. You're listening to a Mint Podcast. Brought to you by HD Smartcast. Good morning, listeners, and Eid Mubarak. Welcome to Top of the Morning by Mint, your weekday newscast that brings you five major stories from the world of business. It's Thursday, April 11th, 2024. My name is Nelson John. Let's get started. Top of the Morning by Mint. Indian equity markets edged higher on Wednesday. Nifty and Sensex increased by around half a percent each, with Sensex closing at more than 75,000. The markets will remain shut today on the occasion of Eid. It's unusual for the stock market to be so bullish close to an election. Past election cycles have shown that the public markets deal with plenty of volatility and price corrections, as nervous traders choose to play safe. But market indices show that investors seem awfully calm this time around. They don't expect any large swings in the markets. and trading volumes have been robust we argue in our special online only premium segment mint snap view however the current claim doesn't mean that it's going to stay this way may and june might see some volatility despite the bullish nature of the market at present you might be playing the long game or short but do continue reading mint to understand the underlying sentiments of the markets as the runway to the general elections gets shorter Much of India's general election coverage is focused on Uttar Pradesh and perhaps justifiably so. The state has the most number of seats for the Lok Sabha. But with 48 seats, Maharashtra is the next biggest. Voting should be quite interesting here too. Voters are spoiled for choice. Apart from the household names, a host of regional political parties, including not one but two Shiv Senas are contesting the ballot. Mint's national writer Sain Tanbera visited Varda and Nagpur, two cities in the heart of Maharashtra, to bring you an on-ground pulse of the region. Sain Tan writes about the hot-button issues, the mass confusion among turncoat candidates and the parties they represent, and speaks to locals about how they plan on voting and why. Life Insurance Corporation, the biggest insurer in India, has a market cap of over six trillion rupees. It invests a chunk of this money into other companies, often owning sizable shares of publicly traded companies. Due to its investing power, it often has a unique position among the board members. Anirudh Lashkar and Nitin Kiran team up to analyze these decisions, which paint an interesting picture. LIC has been an active cap table member in many of its invested companies. In the 9 months ending December 2023, LIC had either outright rejected or abstained from nearly 10% of the proposals put forward to it. For more than 40% of the proposals it had rejected, LIC stated governance issues as a reason for its dissent. Most of these decisions were to do with appointments of directors or their remuneration. The state-owned insurer is turning into a bit of an activist investor. Data shows For a long long time VIP was the most prominent branded luggage maker in Indian market but then came the Samsungs and the tourists and VIP couldn't keep up with margins of only 9% the Piramal family considered selling their business but decided against it last year the lack of consistency might also cost them VIP has seen three managing directors in the last 3 years Mint's Deepthi Sharma and Ranjini Raghavan speak to Neetu Kashi Ramka on the newest MD's three-year plan to revive the business. Kashi Ramka remains grounded and wants to improve margins in her tenure before the owners contemplate a stake sale again. Can VIP shed its excess baggage to be a fitter and slimmer company? Only time will tell. For fans of Bollywood, every major festival brought with itself a blockbuster movie release. 
the three khans of the industry had divided release dates among themselves. Shah Rukh got Diwali, Salman got Eid, and Amir got Christmas. But the last few years have seen this order get jumbled. While this year's Eid is here, Salman isn't, and the film industry isn't happy. The lack of Salman Eid combo is likely to mute movie collections over this weekend, writes Mint's media and entertainment correspondent Lata Jha. She writes that box offices have seen around 30% less collection post-COVID, as most people fire up OTT platforms and choose to watch movies from the comfort of their homes. We'd love to hear your feedback on this podcast. Let us know by writing to us at feedback at the rate livemint.com. You may send us feedback, tips or anything that you feel we should be covering from your vantage point in the world of business and finance. That's all for today. Thank you for listening. We will be back tomorrow with a fresh episode of Top of the Morning. Have a nice day. Top of the Morning by Mint.